Now that you've had your DEH 8300UB professionally installed, let's take a couple minutes and go through the initial setup menu. Here's how it works. Once you've had your radio professionally installed, you'll want to take a moment and go through some of the initial setup features. Here's how you get there. With the radio powered on, you want to touch and hold the source button to turn the radio off. Now press and hold the rotary commander until you see the initial setup menu. There are three languages available. You can choose English, French, or Spanish. Turn the rotary commander to the right. We can set the calendar and we can set the clock. Turn the rotary commander again and we can set our engine time alert to off or on. Engine time measures the amount of time that the engine has been running. Turn the rotary commander again to the right. We get USB plug and play is turned on. That means that when I plug in a USB stick or an iPod or iPhone, the source will automatically switch to USB. Turn that off if you don't want the source to automatically switch. We turn the rotary commander to the right. We come to the warning tone setting. We can turn this on or off. It's a brief tone to remind you to take the detachable face with you when you turn off the car. Turn the rotary commander to the right again, and we come to Auxiliary 1. If we leave this on, Auxiliary 1 will remain in the source list. If we turn it off, Auxiliary 1 will be removed from the source list. Turn the rotary commander to the right again, and we get Auxiliary 2. Auxiliary 2 is, is used for streaming Bluetooth audio through an external adapter. By default, Auxiliary 2 is turned off, but if you choose to add a CD BTB200 Bluetooth adapter, you can switch Auxiliary 2 on. Turn the rotary commander to the right. We come to the dimmer setting. When you turn the lights of your car on, the display should dim. If you want to override this function, turn the dimmer off. Turn the rotary commander to the right. We come to the brightness setting. 15 is the brightest. If you want to make it a little less bright, tab to the left, and the brightness of the display will drop. We'll put it back to 15. Turn the rotary commander to the right, and we are at subwoofer control. We press in on the rotary commander, rear speaker output is switched to subwoofer. If we press in on the rotary commander again, rear speaker output is switched to full range. Turn right on the rotary commander again, and we get to the demonstration mode. Many retailers like to use a demonstration mode while the radio is in their display board. Most people, once they have this installed in their car, like to turn the demonstration mode off. Turn the rotary commander to the right again. We come to reverse mode. Reverse mode switches the polarity of the display, so from blue to black and from black to blue. Reverse mode automatically switches itself on and off during normal operation. If you don't like reverse mode, simply turn it off. We uh, turn the rotary commander to the right one more time. We get to ever scroll. Ever, ever scroll can be turned on and text will continuously scroll across the screen. With ever scroll turned off, it'll scroll across the screen and then stop.